And on today's episode, the brokers wait till the last minute once again, but they finally come up to our offer. Stick around, find out. All right, all right. Drive shaft, she got the carrier brick. Ooh, all dirty. Drive shaft complete. Back to tarpon, or actually strapped. And uh, that's what actually moves up and down and pushes on the spring. Um, those head bolts are probably one of the hardest things I've ever had to get out. And a JB hook. Hey. Oh, that was nice of you. 19765. So that is a wrap. What do you think? You good? Every state is probably going to be different. Watch out that air pile. Oh. Got roof. So I'm looking on the road. Look at our roof. It's so cool. It's so, so. Do the next one. Okay. Wow. Uh oh, get your goggles. <laughs> Someone jumps in a hot tub, which is cold now. I turned off the heat for it. Um, we'll look for loads. There's one. It is you, Kylan. getting in a cold hot tub this morning. Waiting for brothers to get home from school in a couple hours and I'm looking for loads. There's not a lot out there, guys. Kind of dropped off uh, the face of the earth again. So we'll pray for next week, but this week was a wash. Uh, there was one convoy that was going right here on the right from Greenville to, yeah, baby, Jacksonville. Yeah, I'll take the cover off all the way. I just take it off halfway and let it breathe. Um, We'll see if we get that one, but they've been counter offering at 1420, like no, nobody's responding. That's just AI kind of responding to 1420 over and over again. But I took that load to Jacksonville, which was kind of a nightmare load. I know the, the shipper on this one is the Corona, it's beer. Um, coming out of like right by where I went to CDL school. But it's that's gonna be heavy. And then the other load that was 1450, I um, was able to go to Columbia and pick it up. So it was less loaded miles, but Take what we can get, see if we get this one. I'll get you goggles, I'll take the cover off. Hi, Tick Tick. Hi, Bubba. All right, I bring gifts to Kylan. And tea does feel a little better, guys. <laughs> She's, what, that chili with sour cream? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah I'm glad you're feeling a little better. So I might take this load just because I was helping her out. But um, you. you're welcome, babe. Maybe I'll take this load. I have about two hours to decide. There you go, dude. I bring all kinds of gifts. And, you, <gasps> and your, I got your Superman truck. No, it's a monster truck. Oh, it's a monster truck? Yeah. A boat. A boat. A boat. Thank you, Dada. You're welcome, buddies. <laughs> Don't forget your jets. You can turn those on, too, if you want. What? I don't need to. No jets? Okay. I'm going to check that chlorine duck. I'll help you. Okay, Tiki. We got a load. All right. Going down to Jacksonville. But I gotta be there in less than 30 minutes. So we gotta go. And that wonderful alarm is uh, T Dub's go get the boys. So I'll come back and see you on the way out. On the way out. Right. I love you. Hope you feel better. Okay. Oh, shit, baby. Mm. And we got it for $15.50, as you can see on this screenshot over here. But, um,. It might not seem like a much, like $130, but that adds up. <laughs> and that is, I'll spend about 280, 270 in fuel. So that's half that almost. So definitely hold out. I was just going upstairs and someone called me from Washington. You kind of learn where the brokers are from. Convoy is based out of Washington State. So um, when they called, I was like, okay, I'll answer this one because I normally don't answer too many spam calls. But I figured it was him and it was kind of a bad connection. Probably he was on the road or something. Say, like, hey, can you still do that one for uh, 15? I said, 15, 50, man, I'll do it. Go ahead and send it over. And then it took a while to get it to process. That's why I kept messing with the app. Kept just saying edit bid. But it really, uh, uh, he had sent it over. So then he like pushed it through the system. Got it done. So, okay, let's go back to Florida and then look for something. I was looking for stuff before because I was maybe going to take it for 14, 20 just to have something. But I kept holding holding out knowing my worth and uh, it sucks that they just wait to the last minute like the last hour before it needs to be picked up to call you 
And that's what they say. Can you make the pickup still? I'm like, yeah, I can be there. Be there before three. I've been here before. So, but that's how they do it. If you want to get the max dollar, you got to wait till right before it uh, picks up. Okay, well, let's go pick it up. Let's go warm the truck up and get over to the, uh, it's the beer place that I took. Where did I take it last time? I only took it like up the road to Greenville last time for, I think, 550 or 575. This one's 15, uh, 50 going down to Jacksonville. And then we'll get something coming back, hopefully, for Friday. There are those two sleeping beauties. Um, and I do appreciate all you guys' prayers for T-Dubs, uh, ma making her feel better. She's eating better. She's had like a little stomach flu, I think, or something. Well, let's get this thing warmed up. It's a beautiful day today, guys. 82 degrees, gorgeous. While this air pressure builds up, once the indicator goes off, we'll get going. Oil looks good, cool looks good. Nothing's been cracked, better, broken, or leaking. And uh, yeah, we're ready to roll. So we still got half tanks of fuel. Probably won't, we'll probably will fuel up. And thank you so much for the email. I think it was Daniel. Thanks for the email to, to T Dubs. Uh, just truck and wife at Gmail is the email. Um, uh, taxes for fuel tax in Georgia has been lifted from the 13th, I think, to the 23rd, something like that. It was, a, it was like a 10 day frame. So it's really cool. So maybe I'll be able to get a better price on fuel in Georgia for that 100 miles and all about 110 miles a year in Georgia on 95. Um, might be a good stop there. I don't know. Maybe we'll get the truck washed too. Maybe we'll come out of Brunswick. Right now I'm going to start looking for, once I get here, I'll probably go live. If you saw that live today, um, I don't know, but probably will get loaded there. Uh, if you drop your trailer and bobtail back out. And then after that live, I'll, or during that live, I'll look for loads coming out of Jacksonville. There's a couple, but they're heavy loads from Pepsi from Jacksonville all the way back to Spartanburg for like $500. You can get something better from just Columbia to Greenville if you're deadhead. <laughs> $500 from Columbia to Greenville, so we'll see what pops up or maybe something for saturday coming back out of here but i just don't want to waste the deadhead not in this market not with how expensive this fuel is coming back through the 85 interchange with the windows up so i know you guys can't hear me that great when uh the exhaust is flowing through the windows but uh yeah that's a little interchange here it's still early the appointment's at three o'clock will be about half well 20 minutes early um, as long as you're, uh, for you new guys coming out here thinking about going to spot market with these click and go apps they call them like Convoy, Coyote, Uber Freight, they're not going to give you detention unless you're there on time or before. So it geo maps you, it tracks you, and once you show up there and, and get checked in, then you're eligible for detention. So hopefully the load is pretty quick. They were right about exactly two hours last time, and I was, I was about an hour early last time. So. If you don't know what detention is, it's payment for wasted time. After they get two hours free, and then after that, um, Uber Uber Freight used to be seventy-five dollars an hour. That was like the best, but it's typically forty dollars an hour, and you only get up to four hours. So if you uh, stay there for ten hours, then four of those hours are going to be free. Well, six of those hours are going to be free. Either way, yeah, we'll shoot. We hopefully don't get detention. Hopefully they load us up quickly. We'll come back home because that should be about five o'clock rush, rush hour time. Oh, there's a big wreck over there. Oh, save the signs. They took out a sign. See the car on the guardrail? See the two other cars? And you see the sign taken out? That just happened. Come on, people. Let's drive. Let's drive better. Let's do better. Oh, the T's and P's for everybody. Looks like they're out of the cars. It might be okay, but man. Took out a sign and ended up on the other side of the guardrail. Got some more roofing right here next to us on the flatbed, okay. Yeah, let's get here, get these doors open. I know the process, I know where to check in, so we have about six miles and we're taking that exit. Let's chase down the flatbed. Well, I, never mind, my lane ends. <laughs> let's get behind the flatbed. There you go. A little bit of Jake's, nice and cool, nice and cool. I'm gonna roll those windows back down because it's a beautiful day. Worldwide, right there, that Freightliner uh, dealership. Well, that's not worldwide, sorry. Worldwide's further up, but <laughs> keep it moving. No need for a yield. But that's a Freightliner dealership. And then Worldwide's a little bit further up here on the left. Looks like they're building another racetrack. There you go, it's for trucks, too. Okay, another place for people to park. I love it. Some nice motor homes 
right there. I know I talked about it a million times, but this shell station up here on the left, that is where I first put in my mind to be a uh, truck driver, where I first got the idea uh, to be a CDL holder. I picked up a guy Uber driving in my other white minivan without red wheels, and uh, he just got to talking to me, and he was a truck driver that just put his truck back and was going home for the weekend. And I said, cool, man. I signed up for school the next week. Uh, that was February 18th, I believe. 2018. All right. Yeah, that's where it was. I picked him up right there. Pretty cool. And there's Worldwide over there. You can kind of see it to the left. That's the Kenworth. If you ever need something for a Pete or a Kenworth. I, I like them a lot more than I like the Pete store. The Pete store is nice and all that, but they overcharge the heck out of you. There is Flatbed City over there. Probably have, I don't know, 30, 40, 50 flatbeds. Uh, but they take a lot of concrete. Uh, I would say pieces for bridges and like barriers, all kinds of stuff. Even those walls, those sound barrier walls that they put up. I think they're, they're making all that stuff right there. And then we're going to Saddle Creek right up here. And then Sunland, Sunland Logistics, another three PLs down there to the right. Super nice guys. I've talked to them a couple times. Uh, looks like we don't have a bunch of trucks on the road today, so maybe that's a good sign. And we're not uh, going to have to wait too long. I don't know. Creek. I'm gonna stay on the left side because it's quite a hairpin turn back. Not the best uh, layout here. A lot of maybe back in the day when trucks were shorter and day cabs, but nowadays not the best. <laughs> we can make it though. I'll have to put my tires up on the grass last time almost just to get my trailer in there. All right, let's park next to Southeastern, and then we'll be able to make this turn. This is where we parked last time. You can see that yellow barrier up there. That's where you got a hairpin turn around. So, oh yeah, let's go check in. So we are about 20 minutes early. Southeastern's probably already checked in. We're getting some Corona probably. Yes, boy. Okay, I've been okay. here last week, so okay. drop your trailer, go back out. Yep. And then you okay, give me a call. Out. All right, thank okay. you. Well, that was awesome. We got a door right away, so we have to wait outside, but we are here right at the appointment, so I get it. We're getting door five. Okay, still nice and clean. Let's do it. Found some shade, and now we wait. And we just got the call. That wasn't too bad, about an hour and 15 minutes. Like we were, that was quick. So we're gonna load it up right there. We'll just slide the tandems back again and uh, get going. Go by the house. I have a backpack, but I need to pick it up. Say hi to the boys for a little bit. Um, and then I'll head out after traffic subsides because it's not even five o'clock right now. It's 3.40. All right, let's click into this thing, get it loaded up again and get back home. Well, this time we're Modelo. Okay, let's get a strap on that and get it going. Awesome, thank you. Have a good one. Too. Well, T's and P's for the south side of 85. Uh, there's a, I don't know if it was a drug bus or something, but there's probably eight unmarked uh, DPS officers over there pulling over somebody. And, I, and that's part of what's going on here. And, too soon the northbound side is also a little bit backed up <laughs> that's just 85 through greenville at this time of day let's slow move it get through it safely getting back home and t-dubs is hungry so i'll probably take her she's called me uh the boys are at their buddy's house playing down the street so i might take her to go get some food real quick before i head out of here i wonder if that outback's getting almost done let's see Oh yeah, they got the signs up for Outback. Yes, we're almost there. I want to be like with the first day. I want to go sit there. Oh, they got to change the sign out for Ruby Tuesdays. Okay, Outback, I see you. Almost some awesome blossom time. Let's do it.
world like clockwork, look who it is. There she is. Let this thing cool down a little bit, that oil. Oh, it's T Dubs. Oil is cooled down and it's time to heat it up. Oh my goodness. What's up, beautiful girl? <laughs> you feeling a little better? A little bit, yeah. Good, I'll drive. Mm. What's up, dude? Okay, so it wasn't just me and T Dubs, but somebody wanted to come along. Okay, so what's school fun today? Yeah, okay. You can get Tiggs, we made it back. Only one kid. Oh, hi, Tiggs. They're going to be on their way back soon. Oh, you got them. Oh, Tiggy, Tiggy. Your dog. I'm going to pack a bag and I get going to Jacksonville. I love you. I love you too. Where are you going? Jacksonville. <laughs> it's down in Florida. Oh, I charged up the Hellcat. Now we're charging up the batteries in the back of the truck. Nothing like getting a little bit of service going back to the truck. Taking the back roads, getting dropped off. Oh, yeah. Teach him young. Grab me, dude. <laughs> Thanks, Mama. Glad you're feeling better. Thank you. All right, Tiki. I'll see you soon, Bubba's. Love you guys. Bye, Tell my other kids I love them too. When they get away from their friends. Let's go. It was nice to have the shuttle service back to the truck. I like the walk sometimes, but uh, let's get going. Let's get this down to Jacksonville, reset our clock. A couple loads coming out tomorrow that I could piece together, but uh, the brokers are gone for the day, so I can't really get offers put in. So we'll see you first thing in the morning, but let's fire this thing back up and get this beer to the good people of Jacksonville. Okay, I'm gonna miss the T-Dubs and the boys. Uh, it's kinda cool just to have a little bit of time with just Kaysen, my middle son, but while we're heading through all this construction on this side of the road, let's hear from T-Dubs again about our giveaway for this month. There is three keywords that are already out, so be on the lookout for a fourth, and we'll do the drawing at the uh, beginning of October. Here she is. Fuel prices are through the roof, so we are bringing back our giveaways. Bone Crystal at safetyauditprep.com are going to be sponsoring a $250 fuel card giveaway this month. Keep an eye out for five keywords and be in the chat October 1st. And check out safetyauditprep.com for all your compliance needs. Thank you, beautiful T-Dubs. And uh, yeah, keep a lookout for some more keywords. We've got about two weeks left of that before it's uh, going to be drawn. And thank you so much, Safety Audit Prep, for sponsoring our giveaways. Okay, let's make it down 26, get to 3, or 385, get to 26, and then we'll roll out to 95. I'll probably close this video up uh, once we get to, I don't know, maybe 95, maybe when we get fuel somewhere, maybe the Columbia. Okay, let's roll. Walmart Distribution Center sitting right there, nice and pretty. Lots of trailers in there. Not usually so many trailers. Um, I don't know, maybe they got it's like all their trailers also. Up here, I know there's an abandoned 
hotel across the way from that food place. I forget the name of it, it's like two, two people's names. And just kind of wait it out, edit, edit my video a little bit, and see when that's going to start moving again. Because I'll be able to see the road from right here on the left. You see that green building, that's where I'll stop. Tease and peace, whatever's going on though. And actually, never mind, I don't need to use the abandoned hotel because this fuel stop has a truck stop. I didn't know that. I know exit 76, there's a Loves. There definitely is a lot of room there, but. Got some trailer storage back here, Liberty out of Atlanta. Liberty has a bunch of trailers here. Four of them. And then uh, there's one guy right here. We'll, we'll pull through, I don't even think the fuel pumps work. I don't, I don't know. We'll stay on the left and be out of their way. We'll wait for that. I can see the, see the traffic right there to my right down there, so we'll just wait for that to start moving. And look for an alternate route, because I think there's an alternate route if we go left right here. starting to move again and going up showed us a little bit of uh, just how far it up how far up it is not very far at all so maybe construction maybe something fender bender I don't know but it's moving so let's get back on the road and I think on that note guys God bless you I'm gonna edit this video get it out to you guys and uh, see you tomorrow in Jacksonville God bless you see you on the next one